see the winners today. Those snow capped peaks are 100 miles away. They are. It's, uh, well, they're kind of northeast of Vernal. Yeah. Yeah, peaks over there. Uh, that's actually over one. One of these days, 100 mile plus visibility. If you look on off over there, you know, that canyon, you can start seeing the walls on one side here. Uh, it's a uh, Lador Canyon. And, uh, not too far on down there, you got the confluence of the Ampa and the Green, right? They got that new pull out and area there where the where the mouth of the canyon is. Have you ever been there? Uh, not for years. They have it. They've made a pretty nice little camp area in there now. I have this project in mind and uh, I have this old RV I bought on eBay, sight unseen. Some of it's just two years later is still sitting in pure South Dakota. <laughs> and uh, my uh, This whole area here, uh, all of the white kids uh, tried to make a living out of this thing back in the Depression. Uh, have you ever been down the old homestead park? Yeah. Um, one of the things I tried to impress on my children, you get down there, the cabin's starting to fall apart. Look around the corner there. Where the dugout is? Yeah, the dugout. Yeah. Explain to them. That's know, where they lived there. <laughs> That was their first winter. You know, they slept in that thing, and uh, uh, I know it made a rather profound impression on my children. And it made an impression on me, because, you know, I... We got it pretty damn easy, don't we? Well, yeah, you know. When I was, I'm a little older than all you guys. Yeah, but the, the people that owned it and so forth were part of a huge uh, uh, poaching ring that was busted a few years back. Just a few years back? Yeah, they had quite a few more. Well, in this area, they have the big bull elk in here. I mean, and when 
winter time. You can't, you can't hardly draw to this area anymore. I did. I can't remember all the details now, but I know that it was a fairly major, uh, I don't know, maybe you know. Mm -hmm. no. uh,